This is the book of Luke, chapter 13, and verse 4. Bring it out. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Say it again. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Make them hear it over there. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Repent or die. You got a Bible at the house? Read it. Sis, do you know, you know your nationality? Do you know your... Yeah. Do you know your nationality? So, so-called African-American? Would you... Philadelphia's epidemic of gun violence continues to claim more and more victims. Tonight, police were investigating multiple shootings throughout the city, including this crime scene in West Philadelphia. Four people shot in broad daylight while sitting in chairs, enjoying the early evening air. It's Tuesday night, and the big story in Action News is an explosion of gun violence in the city. At least two killed, several people wounded in a series of shootings. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher is live from police headquarters with the full story. Brianna. That's right, Rick. Police are investigating multiple shootings across the city this evening, one of them in West Philadelphia. We spoke with a father who lives nearby. He said he was inside at the time with his daughter. He said when they immediately heard the gunfire, they took cover. We heard a rapid gunfire. We were in the kitchen at the time. So I told my daughter, we both got down. It's like a war zone. According to police, one person is dead after four people were shot just before 5 p.m. at 60th and Ray Streets in West Philadelphia. Police believe someone in the group was targeted. He fires at a group of males who are sitting on a set of chairs that are behind me. Police say a 55-year-old man has died. The rest of the victims, who range from 33 to 60 years old, are hospitalized. Officials say the shooter was on foot and is likely from the area. It's a gathering point for people in the neighborhood neighborhood who socialize, never disrupting neighborhoods, so this appears to be personal. Then in North Philadelphia, just after 4 p.m., Chopper 6 was overhead while police investigate a homicide on the 1800 block of North Ringgold Street. A 31-year-old male was shot multiple times in the head and pronounced dead at the scene. Less than 30 minutes later in West Kensington, police say a man was shot. He's now in critical condition. Authorities say a 40-year-old man was also shot in the foot on the 6600 block of Lebanon Avenue. He is staying Within several hours, separate shootings left two people dead and six people injured across the city. We're way past enough is enough. Uh, you know, we're, we are going to work together with law enforcement community members because we can't continue to live in fear. As an adult, you know what's going on and you're really cautious. You just try to keep them out of harm's way and raise them the right way. That's the biggest thing out here. You got to raise your kids right. No arrests have been made in any of these shootings. Anyone with information is asked to contact the police. We're live outside of police headquarters. Brianna Gallagher, Channel 6. They'll be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Two thirds of our own people, according to the Bible, is going to get smoked. Bad up, are you? Right? And lick up the dust of thy feet. God, no great. God, God, God. 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 This guy's a demon, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, and and, and the cops showed up when he showed up. So he's probably one of them. Yeah, right, but let me play one. The book of First Corinthians, chapter six, and verse five. I learned. No modesty, like I said. I said, why you dress modestly? Right? Very beautiful. You don't have to show shit. Right. You don't have to show your curves up. That's for your husband, right? We don't want to see that. But yet they get mad when another brother want to look at them like they're a damn whore. Huh? He, he converted to Islam just like I did. I said, "You learn, you learn, hey, you learn." So Avon, they can take anybody. All you gotta do is just open the door in this room. We Islam. We are not the Islamic people. You go to the Middle Hold East, up. they will enslave your ass. Race. Yeah. You come out here and you see somebody that's really Arab, and you say, Assalamu alaikum. He bows his head in disgust and says, Malaikum salam. Like, we're not the same. 
got to understand you are a chosen group of people. You got to stop following after everybody's nationality. Go ahead, Ken. So like I seen a video about that actually. But he was talking to a Jewish man, right? But they're supposed to be us, right? So uh, Ishmael was like, the Jewish guy was like, Salam Aleikum. And the Ishmaelite dude was just like, Wa Aleikum. He won't say the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then the Jewish dude was like, why you, why you won't say the whole thing? Why you won't say the whole greeting back to me? And he just, the Ishmael would just smile at him like, I'm not saying it to you. And, and I'm guessing like he probably really knew that he was an Amalekite, that he's not the real Jews, but if 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 they were that's the same thing they would do to us you know what i'm saying they were, he was like salam alaikum and the ismailite was like wa alaikum yeah. he would just look at him like i'm not saying it's the whole greeting to you we're not friends yeah if i could find that find a uh, video i'll post it in there wa alaikum how are you wa alaikum salam or wa alaikum wa alaikum <clears throat> no wa alaikum salam why not wa alaikum salam why are you going to teach me a lesson or something? No, because I, I said, I said I, peace be upon you. I said, yeah. and you repay back, and you, rather than peace be upon you back, yeah? Yeah. And so the traditional greeting is, I say, assalamu alaikum, and you say, wa alaikum salam, yeah? yeah? So let's try again, assalamu alaikum. <laughs> wa alaikum. <laughs> so the reason he's doing this yeah. is, there's a hadith that says you can't say wa alaikum salam, Back to a Jew. Oh. Okay, any, anyone who comes to yeah. me, any Muslim who comes to me, say Assalamu Alaikum, yeah. I will say Wa Alaikum Assalam. Okay. Right? But you are a Jewish. I am a Jewish. Yes? Proud Jew. Okay, go and say it to me. Go and say it to me. Wa Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum. So you treat people you treat differently Muslims according different. to their religion. You wish Muslims oh, peace. How divisive. We're not friends. It's not, it's not what we do. We got our own God. Y'all have your own God. Stop cleaving on other people's religion. Come on, bring that up. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. Bring it out. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Wheresoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. So we come in and we started off reading Isaiah 61. The, the, pay attention. Open it up the prisons. Open up the prison of your mind. Come back to the law, statutes, commandments. Know thyself. You're living in the matrix. You're Neo. You're the one. Precious is the blood of the saints in the eyes of the Most High. You're the apple of his eye. God's chosen people. But then you're walking by talking about Slick of Salaam. So be, don't be deceived, God is in mock. Come out here and let you know how important you are. This place done got shot up a couple days ago. You know what I mean? That means this is a judgment. When you see the sword coming, it's a judgment. Does that mean it's over with? That's not gonna happen again? We coming out here to let you know to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Or of course it's gonna happen again. Why do you think we out here? Let me get Luke 13 for you. In the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, you shall all likewise perish. So unless you repent, you're going to perish. Unless you change your ways, you're going to perish. Let me get Job 19. And then hold the book, we get back to you. So unless you repent, the most high is gonna kill you. That's what we coming out here to let you know. Wake up. Come out of that stupor, come out of that sleep. That America has you in the American dream. It's a nightmare. The American dream is the black man's nightmare. Everybody steps on you to get higher in society. You happy with the little trinkets you got? A little loud music, nice car. But what happens when gas is ten dollars a gallon? Where are you driving to? When gas is fifteen dollars a gallon? Because Iran closes the Strait of Hormuz. Where are you getting your food from? 
something you might want to think about before it happens. Repent before things happen. Go ahead. In the book of Job, chapter 19 and verse 29. Be ye afraid of the sword, for the wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment. Be afraid of the sword. There's judgments happening on this earth. Seven people got shot in 71 minutes in Philadelphia. Made national news. This block right here made national news. Everybody's wondering what's going on. Tell you what's going on, y'all. Not follow the law, statutes, commandments written in the Bible. You still think you would Muslim? You still thinking you can do whatever you want? This Bible doesn't say to do whatever you want. You know what book does? The Satanic Bible says that. The Satanic book says, "Do as thou wilt." And if you continue to do whatever you want without following the law, statutes, commandments, you're destined to get killed. Destined to get thrown in jail for the rest of your life, man. It's serious business. He don't even got a siren on. That means you trying to sneak up on somebody. Somebody got a pistol. Somebody did something they ain't got no business doing. Yeah, he just cut the lights off. Right, right now. Right. Right, right, Mark. Turn, take a left. Right on, right on, uh, Arch. This is serious business. Do not play with this. The Bible serious and the Most High God is serious. All that laughing gonna come to a screeching halt. Let me get uh, uh, Luke. This is 13, the book of Luke, five. chapter 13, and verse 12. Bring it out. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Say it again. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Make them hear it over there. I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Repent or die. You guys show the people, you gotta act like it. You got a Bible at the house? Read it. Sis, do you know, you know your nationality? Do you know your... Yeah. Do you know your nationality? So, so-called African-American? Would your, is your father African American? Is it coming on? What's going on, brother? These are the last days. This is the time that we're going to be learning more and more. It's all right, sis. You want, you want a million different cameras anyway. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so your father was a so called African American? All right. That means you are. A Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah, God's chosen people. The most important people on the face of the planet. We're here to tell you to follow the law, statutes, and commandments right here in this Bible and live. Alright, because we are in the last days. Do you, do you agree? Or? I do agree. Okay. So, in these last days, you, you, have you ever read the Bible? Did you read the Bible? I was raised in church okay. from a child, but. Uh, as I got older, then that makes sense. Okay. Have the people I was listening to in church, uh, even on the pulpit, they were gay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm. I gotta go back. And the kids, I was playing with, you know, car rehearsal gay. I didn't know it was dad, but no, no, that wasn't dad over there. Just said nobody wanted to know. So my mom just told me all the time, go back to church, read the Bible, yeah, and not gonna hold you. I don't even know what just made me stop. Seriously, because I'm kind of kind of over the whole religious kind of thing. Yeah, so are we. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just over it. So, yeah, we, we're done with religion. I see more hypocrites and everything in the right, church right. And, and preaching or taking got, what they uh, want probably. from the Bible and then using that. So I'm just. I don't know. I really don't know what made me stop. You gotta read it for you. that. Go ahead. This is the book of oh, Proverbs, please. chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's goings are, are the Lord's. How can a man then understand his own way? So you stopping is because the Lord have you stop. Okay. Right? You're going to get this Can message. You're going to get this word. What's that? Probably not tomorrow. Not tomorrow, no. no we'll okay, I'm sorry for interrupting. Okay. Oh, you want to sit back and listen? That's absolutely. Okay, no, I just had something to ask. 
Okay. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 49. Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Yeah, so we don't go to church. He's saying like, what does that what, mean? He's Say saying, again? He said, read again. This is the book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 49. Heaven is my throne. So the heavens, up, look up. That's the heavens. That's his throne. Go ahead. And earth is my footstool. Earth is his footstool. You ever put your foot on a stool? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, God is mighty. That's what he's saying. Go ahead. What house will you build me? So what church are you going to go to? What, what church do you go to that the most high, you know what I mean, is dwelling in? It's not, it's not uh, there. I've been t well, so far, I mean, you don't have to go to church. Like, our body is our temple, right? It is. And, so and we when don't have to go to right. the are gathered in the right. there he is. You so know? where do you go to learn about him? Oh, mm, right here. I'm glad you stopped. Mm, this was meant to happen. Yes, yes sister, please. Right here. Look at this book up. This is it. Uh, you know, just, can I ask, what makes lost. that version different from the King James version that my mom was making me read from the this, this is the King James version. Oh, wait a minute. Is she about to pull up another Bible on us? Sister, what you got? Didn't he? I, I'm so bad. Do you have any right questions? Now. Did he? What's the difference between the Bible? <laughs> uh, nothing. Yeah. The King James Bible is the closest translation from the Hebrew to the Latin. So, um, this is pretty, pretty sound doctrine. This is canon. You know, let you know who you are, what you should be doing in these last days, and Appreciate why we're going through all these things we're going through. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me, and where is the place of my rest? Yeah, so this is, when two or more are gathered, there he is in the midst. So you don't have but to go to church to get the, the midst. When they were in the wilderness, didn't they carry the... In the wilderness? No, coming out of the wilderness, yeah, we came out. We, we, we came out with. Listen, listen. Okay, okay. Come, you mean coming out the wilderness from Egypt? No, I mean when they were wandering before they were able to enter into the promised land, they worshipped in the wilderness in the tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming out of Egypt. Yeah, the boots. When we came out, coming out of Egypt. Right, but they did gather together to worship. That's what we're doing now. You know what a convocation is? Yeah. What is a convocation? What? That's not what I came to say. What I came to say was I, I um, I'm a Christian and I know you guys are what black Israelites. We're not black. Not black. No. We're just We're Israelites. Called, yeah, but the, the media calls us black Israelites to be smart. Like there is a white Israelite. There's okay. No it's fiction. He said I will send you the Holy Spirit to comfort you mm -hmm. that will stay with you and keep you. You know, from going back into your old life. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit. This is this is this is the Holy remember. This is the Bible. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit is you know, I know you guys do not believe in the Trinity, but again, the Holy Spirit is part of God and God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This is the book of Matt, this is the book of first John chapter five and verse three. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. Do you love God? Yeah. Go ahead, read that right we for this is the love of God, uh -huh. that we keep His commandments. So in order to love God, you have to keep His commandments. Go ahead. And His commandments are not grievous. And they're not hard. They're not hard at all. Sister already has on the dress, right? All you have to do is put a, a border of blue with fringes, and there you are keeping the law. Wasn't that easy? All Simple, right? right? Uh, what, uh, you got a book to that name. Just okay, okay. Um, so, we get my numbers. I'm going to bring that up. We're not worried about it. You're not saying that we can keep the commandments. Alright, go ahead. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, and verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. There you go. So, you know God, and you don't keep his commandments. Technically, according to the Bible, you're a liar. Let's go numbers. I got you. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15. The, the problem with Christianity, just so you know, I know you're about to leave. The problem with Christianity is you have a, a, a Christian church on every block and your pastors say you don't have to keep the law. Look at where we live. There's now four people shot down here. You have to you have to have some type of order. Yes, unless it's chaos. That's the that. that's the issue. Well, you gotta, if you have a pastor and he says you don't keep the law, he is the problem. No, Give me Jeremiah 23. I just said the Holy Spirit seals us. 
and keeps us from sin. I just kind of want to just stay away from the whole religion and the church. I said there would be separation. Did the person that shot him, did he kept from sin? I'm just going to believe in myself. Did he put his faith and trust in Christ? No, I can't do that. We got to get more order. I, it's more order, man. Because you need to your mind. It says your mind is deceitful. You gotta have order, you gotta have laws. This is what we're talking about. Uh, this young this young lady, she doesn't have any laws available to her. You have to keep the law. <laughs> so you think salvation is... This is the book of the Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. So the pastor has got a lot coming. Let's go to Numbers. All the right. pastor got a lot coming. All right, I'm not talking so much about the individual. This is the book of Numbers. Chapter 15. We're going to edify her because obviously okay. you're, you're in This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them bridges in the border of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put on the upon the fringe the, of the river band of the borders a river band of blue, and you shall be unto you for a fringe, that you may look upon you and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So you doing this? The reason why you wearing these fringes? Because say you're about to sin. Say somebody invites you out, go on the red lobster. Not even red lobster. You go to another restaurant, right? And they got a special on shrimp. And then, because you're not supposed to eat shrimp, right? So the person you out with is like, I'm getting a big plate of shrimp. Here, have some. Thank you. You said we're not supposed to eat shrimp. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Oh, All right, now I know what call for is because they bottle feed us. Bottle? Same thing. Exactly. Shrimp's a bottle feed. Same thing. You ever see a cockroach? And then the shrimp is. Don't do Oh, God. Same thing. Same thing. That's the cockroach of the sea. No, don't do that. It's the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Come on back. Come on back. It's the last days. You said it's last days. God. This is knowledge is going to be increasing these last days, right? <laughs> so this is what it is. We all used to eat shrimp too. After a while, when you start looking at it, like you got to take out the little poop from the shrimp, like you know. Mm -hmm. Right, right. This is the book of Leviticus, it. chapter eleven. I'm gonna start at verse seven. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he chew of not the cud. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and of their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. So. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins nor scales in the seas. So that's like crab, lobster, shrimp, scallop. Oysters, mussels, mussels octopus, calamari, calamari, dolphin. dolphin. You and I can eat a dolphin, are you? Swordfish, even catfish, shark. People shark. eat shark too. Yeah, it's all that yeah. stuff. Okay, y'all give me turn my stomach. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not supposed to eat. But it, but it's simple things you, you can just eat. some. You got some salmon. No, but that's all I eat. It's, <laughs> I, I, I left all the meat alone, right. but I do. I don't eat no catfish and all that kind of stuff. Good but, catfish, bad for you. Whiting. Um, you know what I mean? It's, it's regular fish you can eat. You all right, right. They have fins and scales. Salmon, salmon is awesome. Yeah, you can do a lot with salmon, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's just simple, simple lifestyle changes that you're going, you know, most high willing, you're going to adhere to in these last days. Uh, you go to, you go to Daniel 12 and 4. God. Meet me at the house. So. In these last days, it's a couple things you gotta do differently in order to make it to the next level, right? No, not that easy, though, right? What? Which one? Just like how you just said it. No, no, no. You know it's what? The reason why easy. I say the reason why I say it's simple things like not eating shrimp. You gotta buy shrimp. You don't have like a shrimp addiction. You like, damn man, I had shrimp in like two, three days. Like, right? Like, how much does shrimp cost per pound? It's expensive. There it is. Too much. There it is. And they so, tell you that it's a thing. Right, so it's right, a couple right. of lifestyle changes that you alter. Seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels and 500 yoke of oxen. So Job was perfect 
which means he was restored. He mm-hmm. wasn't sinning. He wasn't doing nothing wrong, right? He had oxen, which was like money. You know what I mean? That's, that's money. He had family, everything. Go ahead. This is the book of Job, chapter 1, and verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. You can't forget, Satan is out here still. Uh, he on my shoulder right now. You know what I'm saying? He's, 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 a, he's a problem. They, but he, this is his job. His job is to tempt you. His job is to, you know, uh, uh, accuse you. He's the prosecutor. He stand, yeah, he stands in I'm front of the most high. I'm myself to tell you right now he's winning. He's winning? But, well, in America. But but right now, he's getting his ass whooped. I'm, he's, I'm, mm. I ain't put my threat there, but... Mm. Look, look, look. I need to find a way to get back to myself. Right now, I'm not going to hold you. I'm just lost. Well, look, you got to find out who not you are, right? Me. You said your, your father... Is a so-called African American, right? Uh, all I know, my mom and dad was born in North Carolina. So okay, you know, yeah, nine times out of ten. And my mom's parents were Indian, part Indian. Part Indian. Your mom's parents? Mm-hmm. Okay. So on your father's side of family, that's where the lineage comes. They're from. all from down there, North yeah. Carolina. Yeah. So right. right there, on this sign, you're at the top. See that, Judah? Let me get uh. The so-called oh. Negroes. So-called, huh? so-called. Because you're not a Negro. Nobody even knows what a Negro is. There's here's no the, real definition of it. Here's the definition of queen. It's just black, right? Come. Queen definition. The female ruler of an independent state, especially one who inherits the position by right of birth. That's other people. You know what I mean? Our, our way, you're saying, how come you haven't met your king yet? There's a, there's a, uh, a lineage. I mean, there's a, a order to this, right? So you have God, Matter of fact, let me get the order. Let me show you the order. There is a, there's a definite order. Now, America has told you there's no order. You can do whatever you want. You're here to Willie Lynch letter? Of course. Of course. Okay, so you know. This is what the Bible says. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So oh. Christ has a head too, which is God. The men have a head, which is Christ. The woman has a head, which is the man. What America has done, like you said, you know, the Willie Lynch letter, is they flipped it. You know what I'm saying? So the woman is now running the household. Everybody's trying to get in the door at the same time and bumping each other. That's not how it works. You know what I mean? Now, you gotta have a man that's in order though, which means in order, I mean, he follows the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. If he's just some nigga on the streets, you gotta listen to him and do everything. Say you hold these drugs, you hide this gun. Like that's not what we're talking about. Here. You got homosexual men that call themselves queens too. Huh? Yeah, this is a oh, fact. Yeah, not just say that. That is true. This is a fact. <laughs> but I get told that's my problem. Like I'm, I need to put my pride to the side. And okay. I can. Wait a minute. Are y'all nodding your heads to say? Are y'all agreeing with that? To say I need to put my pride, pride to the side. As far as I'm gonna need y'all to explain that to me. Wait, 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 wait. When you say you're pride, true. okay. We'll tell you what pride. What pride is? What happens before pride? <clears throat> I mean, it's like, what happens after pride? Okay. For me, I came a long way. And like I said right now, I'm proud. Every, my lease card, everything is in my name. And I'm doing... This is the book of Proverbs, right. chapter 16 right. and verse 18. Now look, right. this is pride, right? Pride goes before destruction and a holy spirit before a fall. So, that pride... It's, it's hard to learn stuff when you're prideful. A prideful person knows it all. Right. A prideful person, you can't tell them anything. Right. So when you are prideful and somebody's giving you instruction, that could be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you're going to put it, and I'm trying, I don't consider myself, I don't consider that being, being prideful. I don't think I know everything. I just know I work hard for what I got. And I refuse to let some man just come in and think he's going to get a key and be king in my place. That's not what's gonna happen, so yeah. like we're saying, how am I demasculating, demasculating the man? I don't Genesis. know. This is the book and of when Genesis. I, talk to my mom about it, I keep getting told to go back to church, read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible. That's where your husband is at. Mom, I, that Bible ain't got nothing for me. <laughs> the Bible has everything for you. Do, do, do you realize everything that you've been saying, we've been bringing out scriptures about that? Wow. Now, this is the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter so. three, verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, and in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. Why did he say this? You know the story of Adam and Eve. Go ahead. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, 
and he shall rule over you. So the desire shall be to your husband, and he shall rule over you. Now, is, now is that, that, does that mean like, Get up and give me a glass of water, no, woman. No, that, no, that doesn't mean. No, 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 no. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a union. The Most High brings together a union of mm -hmm. man and woman. Precisely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the book of Genesis, chapter two, and verse eighteen. And the Lord God said, "It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him." So a help me. It's supposed to help a man, build him up, build the empire. Right? Talk talk life into him. You ever been you ever somebody that talks you tough down on you and calls you all these names and other mm -hmm. it feels bad. Well how's it feel when somebody's talking life into you? What's going on, beautiful? Good morning. What a beautiful smile. Isn't this a beautiful day? Doesn't happen often, but it's a lot. Right? Can I can I uh it can make the you, play, you ever played chess? Hmm, I get excited a lot, man. No, I you didn't. never played you have you? I have played. Do you know the concept of chess? Uh, All right, so I'm gonna explain. I'm, I'm gonna explain to you. I'm I, see, listen, <laughs> chess is way better than checkers. I'm gonna explain mm -hmm. to you why. Because that's the that's chess is the is basically explaining you life straight up. Everybody say you can play it's, chess. You yo, listen. You if you play if you play checkers, I will demolish you playing chess. You wanna know why? Because I'm thinking three moves ahead, and checkers is just moving one space at a time. Right. You're not you're not really thinking. In chess, you gotta think. In chess, you're thinking about life. In chess, you're doing all, all types of different things. So, in ch the concept of chess, so in chess, right, I can lose my queen, but do I lose the game? Mm -hmm. No. Who, if I lose what? What do I, what do I lose? If I lose my, if I lose my king, if I lose the king, I lose. If you get checkmate with the king, you lose. I'm saying, so that's what you gotta understand. Y'all have to, but what can the queen do? Oh, but what can but what can the queen do? The like queen can move at, the queen can move every place that it, that she wants to, right? Because she's there to help her king. She, but she's not the main piece. The king is the main piece. So you there to help your king. You're not there to control your king. Your king runs the kingdom. He puts things in motion that way he can protect you and everybody else. He tell you what to do because he wants to protect you. Because he wants to be there for you. That's why I tell people, yo, listen, if you put, understand the game of chess, you understand life. You understand that you are a help meet unto your, unto your king, unto your husband, because that's how the, that's what the Most High made you to be. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a woman being in a, 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 a natural state. And there's nothing wrong with a man being in his natural state of being a king, especially if he's doing it in righteousness under the Most High God. Following the law, such as commandments. Let me get First Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians eleven and nine. Okay. Let me get First Timothy's two and nine. Okay. Right. So, like, can I say something real quick? Yeah. Like, even even in today's society, like, that's how they capped on us was destroying the black family. Like, throughout Willie Lynch, you said you you familiar with that, right? Mm -hmm. That whole order was the was designed to destroy us. Once you destroy the black family, you pretty much destroyed the whole nation, right? Because if you got strong families, you got what? You got strong communities. If you got a strong community, you got a strong nation, right? So the destruction of the black family was the whole idea of the so-called white man. So they could destroy us and keep us on the bottom. You wanna wear no booty shorts and everything, walking around, letting everybody see your goods and stuff like that. You know, cause, cause you, and, and you're precious in the eyes of the most high God. Go ahead. With shame facedness and sobriety. Huh. So being humble, you know what I mean? And not be walking around after, you know what I mean, the club all turn up, turn up, you know what I'm saying? None of that, you know? Not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. So you're supposed to be just like, be modest, you know what I'm saying? Just, just be modest, not, you know, thousand, you know, we're, we're, we're very, uh, yeah, we're yeah, very, <laughs> we're very uh, uh, yeah, simple people, but, but we come from royalty, you know what I'm saying? But it's really just being, setting yourself to be humble. Let's go to 15. I mean, uh, no, no, it's locked in. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Uh, it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what do if the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of us? Israel is the 12 tribes, right? The so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What does God require of us? Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God. Fear God. Don't fear them niggas on the corner. Don't fear anything, because he made them. You huh. know what I'm saying? He made the gun. He made the bomb. He made all that. Right. So if you just in there doing his work, he got you. 
You know what I'm saying? So you got to fear him. Fear the maker of all these. Go ahead. To walk in all his ways. Walk in all his ways. Everywhere you go, every your mindset should be, am I, am I following the law of God? You know what I'm saying? Am I doing the right thing? Or am I not? Go ahead. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord keep and his statutes. Keep the commandments. With all your heart and all your soul. No excuses. You see that lady over here? I'm glad you saw that. That's a she's the excuse. I don't know if I could do all this. I, I, I said that's the reason why I stepped back. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I could yeah. do all that. So so she'll give Pastor the uh well Pastor has sex with every woman in the church. He can't keep the law anyway, I know, so that's okay. She said it was a butt behind it. There's what she kept saying it was butt. Yeah. But it's a lot. No, if it either it is or it's not. What is the keep with the butt? Yeah, I'm, she trying I, to I was listening. Right on, right We on. spoke to her before. Yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, you remember her, right? I cut her up. She was at 15. Yeah, 15 yeah, Mark. Yeah, I remember. I, said, no, I live right down the street. Got all here off. We usually, I live on Christian. You know oh, what I'm saying? Wow. But, but uh, we, uh, we're usually down Penn's Landing. Okay. Right now, we're going where we need it. You know what I mean? Four people get shot. We're going to come out here and talk to the people. You know what I mean? So we just go into different neighborhoods. I definitely appreciate it. I got, I, I'm still like, what? Normally, I would have kept going, but. I don't know. Something just. I got you stuck here, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lord, 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 that's what he do. Said, but how you think we out here? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you, you think you first and foremost it's Saturday? Oh, uh, you think we? You think we did this? I'm you 20. I'm 27. You got plenty of things you could be out here getting that to. Right? I could be being dumb like the rest, like the rest of these young boys out here, right? right? But I'm not. I'm out here reading the scriptures, trying to wake up my people to tell them that they're the greatest people on earth. And that's from the Most High. He, he put us together. Go ahead. It's the Book of Proverbs, chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. Right. How can a man then understand his own way? I don't know. Go ahead. No, I know, I know. I never thought I was gonna be sitting out on 60th Street reading the Bible right. years ago. You know what I'm saying? You'd have told me this five years ago. I'd have laughed in your face. Yeah, I'd have laughed in your face. Yeah, it's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, so yeah. like I ain't trying to one up them either. But today is my birthday. Right. I turned 28 today, and I'm out here doing the work. You know what I mean? We don't celebrate birthdays, but you know it's nothing to us. But we give all praise to the Most High for any before anything before myself. So right, no 28 shots. Yeah, I ain't taking 28 shots. I ain't doing none of that. Yeah. That's foolish. You doing the work the most I appreciate y'all being out here. What's your um, name, sis? Uh, 